raisin sweet potato bread for cinnamon rolls. I'm sure it'll be good. I'm Tenny from Mini Bowl Design and today I'm back out in the uh, woodworking shop or the bicycle shop uh, playing around with the inverter again. Uh, this time I've got another one of those small batteries that uh, basically are used in a garden tractor and I've got a Walmart 410 watt inverter and I'm just goofing around with a uh, this is a fluorescent compact fluorescent it draws 27 watts, but it's supposed to be equal to a 100 watt incandescent light bulb. Uh, and I'm just seeing how long it will run on uh, one of these batteries with the inverter. Now yesterday I told you that the inverter uh, drew 80 watts. Well, I found out that it depends on what the load is. The less load you put on it, the less internal uh, wattage the inverter uses. This one is only using uh, just a second 27 watts for that and it's using 51 so it's roughly it's roughly burning uh, 25 watts uh, which is a lot better than the 80 yesterday. Now let's get something straight here about uh, let's get something straight here about generating your own electricity. Uh, I'd like to say right up front that if you can get power off of the grid, you're probably at least a thousand times better off to use it than you are to try to generate your own. Uh, because electricity is so, so, so cheap. You could never, ever uh, make it cheaper yourself. Don't even try. Uh, just the lifetime of the batteries and everything else completely wipes it out. It's very inefficient. On the other hand, uh, it's a lot like... Uh, being hungry. Uh, you know, a lot of things don't appeal to me right now, like dog food. But if I haven't had anything to eat for three or four days, maybe a week, dog food looks pretty good to me. Well, that's the way it is with electricity. If you're somewhere where there just isn't any electricity, there's no way you can get the grid to where you are, and you're sitting in the dark, and you don't like candles, uh, having an electric light uh, looks pretty good to you. Even if it's only one bulb, uh, it's pretty nice to have electric lights when there just aren't any and you've been sitting in the dark for a long time. Uh, and that's where uh, generating your own electricity and using inverters and batteries and windmills and solar panels really shine somewhere where there's just no alternative. Uh, <clears throat> now, I have found that uh, this inverter and, and windmill and stuff lends itself, and you Piggott told me that, the guy that wrote the book that I used to build my windmill. He said that uh, lighting is where they really shine because lighting is doesn't take a lot of energy uh, and it's not fussy about whether it's square wave or sine wave or even DC. You can usually find some lighting that will run on just about any kind of electricity. And you get a lot of light for a charge on a battery. I expect this is probably going to go for quite a few hours, probably five or six hours anyway, maybe ten. Uh, we'll find out. So uh, that's my spin on uh, generating your own electricity. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is setting this setup up somewhere with a nice comfortable chair and maybe a little bit softer light bulb. This one is a cheap one. It's got a blue cast to it. But the more expensive ones have a real nice soft light which is nice to read by. I'm thinking about finding a nice comfortable chair and a couple of bookcases and just filling it with books that I'd like to read and if I'm out somewhere and I see a book I'll just buy it and put it in there and sitting down every evening and reading by uh, light generated by electricity that I made rather than came off the grid. Uh, it's no different than uh, eating a meal from uh, vegetables that you grew in your own garden. Same idea, it's kind of cool. It's not economically really, uh, you can't justify it, but the cool factor is there. And that's what I'll probably do. 
So I'm Kenny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have a really great day, and try to have, take some time out to have just a little bit of fun today. Bye-bye.